And now, the general weather around Alaska. Hello again and welcome to this Tuesday's edition of Alaska Weather. Up first, satellite imagery here showing a system here, quite a wide band of clouds pushing eastward, uh, slowly breaking up here as it pushes onto the east, kind of held back up here to the north. Have some uh, continued showers and clouds streaming in over south central Alaska, eastern Kenai Peninsula area, and on up into the interior, some scattered clouds all the way up to the western Arctic coast. System here pulling northward here, a lot of moisture bringing moisture, uh, spreading some increasing wind and rain over the southern, over the uh, panhandle, mostly along the coast there. The center down in this area kind of sliding northwestward. And you can see again, quite an increase in the clouds here over the southeast coast today. And again, that uh, system pulling up to the northwest. And for the forecast for tonight, rain, right along the uh, mostly the central and north coast with uh, drier conditions down to the south as a bulk of the moisture stays offshore and pulls into the Gulf of Alaska, sprinting up uh, possibly as far west as Cordova. Some rain should make its way into Montague Island late tonight, but south central Alaska will be variably cloudy with light winds that'll extend through much of the interior. A uh, weak thing here, bring some light snow to the lower Yukon River Valley out toward northeast Norton Sound, Norton Bay area, and then possibly up toward uh, Kotzebue, but nothing too significant there. Low pressure, weak low pressure there along the uh, central Arctic coast produces areas of light snow, mostly on the central and west side down into the north slope. And then just some uh, scattered snow showers here over the eastern Bering Sea from the strait there all the way down in toward the Pribilof Islands. This system to the south here, new center develops and pushes eastward as that uh, other band kind of pulls back to the southwest there a little bit here and breaks up with just some uh, diminishing moisture associated with that. And then the forecast for tomorrow, high pressure builds in over the west central Bering Sea areas ahead of this system pushing into the west to the east. Cool northerly flow here keeps snow showers from the western Arctic coast all the way down in toward the Alaska Peninsula with isolated to widely scattered shower activity for the eastern Aleutians, but look for some sun breaks for Athka and Adak. And over the interior, uh, not too bad. We're looking at increasing north winds here for Cook Inlet and through the passes of the western Alaska range. Breezy but dry, another mostly sunny day for Kodiak Island, as well as Bristol Bay there, and most of uh, southern Cook Inlet. Start to pick up the clouds, though, over the Manuska Valley, Palmer area, turning an arm, and then probably a chance of some rain or snow there for the Copper River Basin. And this low center here pulls up to just east, well, well west of the Queen Charlotte Islands in the front, bringing gale force winds into the south coast of the Panhandle. Also, winds will be on the increase gradually eventually here for the North Gulf Coast as well. But for tomorrow afternoon, the heaviest wind and rain will be down along Prince of Wales Island up to possibly Port Alexander, Sitka areas and to the east. And then for Thursday, that low center pulls back to the northwest here, and that'll bring a better chance of moisture in across south central Alaska. And that'll uh, rain, definitely rain wind for the North Gulf Coast into Prince William Sound. And periods of rain for the southeast coast as that front presses right up to the panhandle, but it shouldn't be too heavy, and the winds won't be all that strong as well as another low develops there down toward the Queen Charlotte Islands actually pulling northward, develops off the chart here and comes up to about this position. Thursday afternoon, weak low pressure, eastern Arctic coast keeps snow chances going along the entire coastline there and into portions of the North Slope, but south of the Brooks Range, mostly clear with light winds through the northern interior. Look for some gusty north to northwest winds for Cook Inlet and down across Kodiak Island, as well as uh, eastern Bristol Bay area, lighter winds to the west here with some scattered snow showers continuing from the Alaska Peninsula right on up into the Bering Strait. And this next front pushing slowly eastward, starting to weaken now, the low center back up toward the Russian coast there. They'll bring some uh, rain and fog into the central Aleutians. And we'll see that really weakens on Friday. Just a weak trough now is all that's left, but holding together enough to bring a little bit of moisture into the Perbaloff Islands. But wind's not a factor at all with this due to a much stronger system, as you can see, pulling onto the uh, chart there, 
951 millibar is a low barely getting out on the chart by Friday afternoon, but that'll bring a big increase in the winds here over the uh, western Aleutians along with the rain spreading eastward to about ADAC. And then uh, this low pulls westward and brings some rain and snow chances or continues it here for the uh, Kenai Peninsula, Cook Inlet, and from the eastern slopes of the western Alaska range eastward along the north Gulf Coast with that trough keeping it wet and unsettled for the panhandle, dry with light winds in the interior and some skiffs of light snow along the Arctic coast. And for the lows tonight, anywhere from 10 below to 15 above for the north slope in the Arctic coastal areas. And zero to 15 here, mostly in the teens for the interior, five to 15 call it, and then teens and 20s, southern Alaska. And 30s for the Aleutians, near 40, or near 40 for the Aleutians, 30s for the Pribilof Islands. And uh, for the southeast coast, 30s to mid 40s. Highs tomorrow in the uh, 40s to lower 50s for the Panhandle. And in the 30s here, south central Alaska, near 40 for Kodiak, mid 20s in the Copper River Basin, in the 20s here for the Bristol Bay, into the Yukon Kuskokwim Delta areas, and in the uh, 20s for the central part of the state, teens up around Fort Yukon and Battles, all the way across the Brooks Range, and coldest over the eastern Boulevard Sea Coast, warmer conditions back to the west. And for the lows on Thursday morning, 10 below to 10 above here in the central and eastern interior, all the way out to the Arctic coast. Milder conditions here to the west, lower 20s for the Seward Peninsula, St. Lawrence Island, warming into the lower 30s for the Pribilofs, and upper 30s for the Aleutians, upper 20s, Kodiak Island, lower 20s in Bristol Bay there, 10 to 15 for the Kuskokwim Valley, and down, uh, maybe down to 15 to 25 for south central Alaska in the Copper River Basin, and 30s to mid 40s for the southeast coast. And for the highs Thursday afternoon, teens and 20s for the Arctic coast, and 15 to 20 for the Brooks Range, right around 20 here in the central interior with highs in the lower to mid 30s, south central Alaska, mid 30s for Kodiak Island, and near 40 for the eastern Aleutians.